Okay, sorry that we're like 10 minutes late. Um, we couldn't figure out how to go live on my mom's laptop. So I'm just doing it on my phone now, and then I'm going to use her phone to look at the Twitter questions. So, hi, y'all. We're all coming in. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I did Twitter on hashtag ask Grace Vanderwell, but you guys can, like, feel free to, like, ask questions in the comments. That's fine, too. I'm just, like, I don't know, answering these ones. So, um, yeah. Um, will any originals that you wrote before Perfectly Imperfect uh, be on the album? Um, I don't know, because kind of how we're doing the album is we're basically, um, like just getting all these songs and then we're just gonna like kind of do like pick and choose like the ones we think are like the best and then put them in an album so okay um so yeah do you like stranger things what's your favorite character so um i kept putting off watching stranger things for a really long time and um as you know there is a whole millie bobby brown and maddie ziggler thing so I like, yeah, like, um, so anyways, yes, I, I love Stranger Things. And my favorite character is, of course, Eleven, because, yeah, Millie was awesome in that. So hold on, I have to answer it, because, yeah, all right. Could you turn up the music I answer it so it's not just sitting here? <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to answer this really quick. Okay, um, is your tree house being built yet? Yeah, it took forever to, like, start going, but, um, yeah, we're finally, like, making it happen. They said maybe around June it'll, like, start to be finished, so, yeah, that's really cool. Um, uh, do you like reading? What's your favorite book? Um, I'm not a reader, but I have read before. My favorite books are like, um, sorry, this thing is going off a lot. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn off. Um, yeah, so my favorite book is Twilight because it's awesome. I know, I know. I'm going to do Twitter and then like the Facebook live, I guess. Um, is your style of music for your full album going to be somewhat the same as EP? Um, that's a really good question. Kind of, but it's like, it's still going to be me, but I'm like still kind of finding my style. I never really like knew my style for so like producing things. I'm still like figuring out what I like, but I think I've kind of got it figured out. So it's still like kind of the same like vibes. They can hear you. Can hear you. They can hear me. Yeah, they're talking. Yeah, yeah maybe. that loud. Yeah, you can turn it down if you want. Okay. I, I had it turned down. She really turned it down. I'm sorry. It was just because I was typing. <laughs> How did you gain the confidence to sing and perform in front of others? Um, I just kind of, you just kind of like do it and just, because there's no way to get over it unless you just like do it. So, yeah, that's kind of how it happened, especially with America's Got Talent. If you just, like, dive in, it definitely, like, I don't know. Some people like it, but I think it's, like, just such a rush. Um, what's something interesting we don't know about you? Um, I like to bike ride. I've said that in interviews before, but I guess a lot of people don't really know that about me. So I love to bike ride, like, with my sister and stuff. I actually just got my bike fixed because my inner two popped, so I'm going to, like, ride that after this. Um, let's see, I know, someone just said I'm getting impatient for your album, I am too, <laughs> I wish I could, but there's like so much work involved. <laughs> How often are you in the studio? Um, it depends on like what's happening, hold on, um, really hard to answer these while I'm doing this. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so it depends. Sorry for, like, the really bad answers on Twitter, but I have the videos, so. Um, so, yeah, it depends on what's happening. Like, if I'm working on an album like I am now, I'm in the studio a lot, 
And then obviously if I'm just like promoting it, I'm like super rarely in the studio. So like right now I've been in the studio almost every single day for like the past week writing and like making songs because I want to release the full album. But then like if I'm just doing promotion, like say afterwards, um, yeah. What size shoe do you wear? Um, I think I'm a six and a half to a seven. It depends on what it is, but like, yeah. Um, what? Yeah. How would you describe yourself in one word? Hannah wants to know. Hannah wants to know how to describe myself in one word. Um, okay. Can you, can you answer it while I talk? That would be sure. like so easy. Um, how would I explain myself? I don't know how I'd explain myself in oh, one word. Quirky. Quirky, dramatic, and bubbly. So it was three words. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Um, how tall are you? Um, I'm 5'2". I'm almost 5'3", though, and I'm really proud of it. I can't wait until I'm 5'3". Um, all right, wait. Guys, th th there's not many questions. Oh, will your next album... Oh, sorry. Eugenia Jameson asks... Will your next album be all new songs? If not, will the song The Good Just Gets Better on it? Um, most of it's going to be new songs. But um, like I said, it's just like we're kind of like getting a bunch of songs and then like eliminating. Um, I'm not sure if Good Just Gets Better will be on it. But I don't know, maybe. Maybe like a special edition version of the album will have The Good Just Gets Better. Um... What's your favorite song that you've written? Um, off of the EP, probably Light the Sky has been lately my favorite, or Gossip Girl. How do you tell Kuro and Ashton apart? Hold on, I should answer this one. <laughs> their color. So, like, the color of their fur. So, we named Ashton Ashton because his fur kind of looks like an ash color, while Kuro's much more like sh like really dark black and that's actually kuro's name in japanese is it japanese kuro's name in japanese means black and so it's like ashton and black which kind of like makes sense because ashton's more ashy and more like he looks more like a pomeranian ashton and then kuro is um yeah just like much more black i do my makeup Teresa m houston all right, favorite school subject? My favorite school subject is um, history, because sometimes it's easy. <laughs> favorite color, my favorite color would be um, either like very light pink or gray lately. Oh, okay, Kelly Jackson asks, I'm going to the library, any good books to recommend? The Twilight series. Don't judge, okay? The books are nothing like the movie, I promise. Much better. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh. What is your favorite High School Musical song? That is a good question. Um, I can't really think of any right now. Oh! No, 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 no. Stick to the stuff you know. Stick to the status quo is my favorite song in that movie. It's, like, such a good song. I love the scene in it, too, with, like, all the dancing. That should have won an Oscar. That was so great. Um, oh, there's a fun fact about me. One of my nervous habits is cracking my hands. What's your favorite band? Um, Band? I don't listen to a lot of, like, bands, but... Um, I guess 21 Pilots is my favorite band. Uh, what is your favorite song? Um, wait, who asked that? Hannah. That's dad, Christmas. that's your dad's Twitter. Yeah. Is it, is it all on the same? Yeah, that's my dad's Twitter. Um, I don't really have a favorite song right now, honestly. I've, like, lately just been, like, a drifter in music. Um, and just like, kind of listening to everything. So Libby, that's a good Libby coming to Kansas City anytime soon. Not that I know of, but I come to Kansas City all the time because I used to live there. So that's pretty soon, probably. We come to Seattle soon. <gasps> Whoa, I'm so glad you chose that. 
Yes, I am going to Seattle soon. I'm going to Seattle in roughly about a week. For about a week. A I'm going there for the second Wee Day because I already did Wee Day once, but it was so much fun that I'm going back and I'm doing it again in Seattle. So we try to we try to sing a Japanese song in the future. I don't think I could ever sing a Japanese song because I don't really know Japanese. But I'm going to Japan in um, June, in early June. I'm going to Japan because my EP actually has not been released yet in Japan. So the Japanese version is being released um, in June, and I'm going to be there when it gets released. So that's really cool. Um, are you coming to Nashville any anytime soon? No, not that I know. Oh, wait. Yes, aren't I? Not oh, not oh, you were, but Sorry. Not Do you collect anything? I collect snow globes. You can't see them on my shelves, but um, I used to like get a lot of snow globes. I should like keep that up, but I've been really bad at it. Uh, what's your biggest tip to is uh, blah, blah, blah. biggest tip to an inspiring singer? Um, would just be mm, probably just like just do it, like the whole Shyla just. Do it. Just go out there and do your thing. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. But I don't get nervous on stage. It's like, for me, I don't get nervous at all until, like, the second I'm about to walk out. And then I get, like, really, really nervous. But then once I'm out there, it's, like, pretty good. <laughs> um, blah, 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 blah. Are you going back to Vegas anytime? I don't think I am. Um, like, I would love to, but it's, like, I don't really... Uh, it hasn't been on the schedule yet. Would you ever come to Brazil? I would love to come to Brazil. Bon dia. That would be awesome. <laughs> um, yeah. Come to Italy. I would love to come to Italy. Oh, yeah, that's good. So RPG asks, was it hard for you going from the ukulele to the guitar yes um it would it was kind of hard but it was actually a lot easier than when i first because i before I even tried the ukulele i tried to go on the, the guitar and i remember it being a lot harder than this time um wait someone said a question that i wanted to answer while i was doing that if you could get a tattoo what would it be i love this question Ooh. all right um if i could get a tattoo I once saw this tattoo and it was so beautiful. And I like the tattoos that are like really, like they look so like delicate or like those little like finger tattoos, you know, where they like put like a little heart or something right there. Those are so pretty. But I saw this one that like right along their collarbone, it was like a little arrow. I think that would be pretty, like something along one of your collarbones. Um, have you ever read The Land of the Stories, Amber Hagzig? asks that looks like a german last name i wonder if you're german um no i have not <laughs> uh, oh right that's like why i'm doing this yeah right i'm the radio does it this is the last day to vote for the radio disney it is yeah. Oh, sorry, I, thought I said that wrong because you looked at no, me. No, no, no. Um, yeah, so this is the last day to vote for the Radio Disney Music Awards. Please um, vote for, well, you don't, like, have to vote for me, but I would like you to vote for me. Um, I'm in the freshest category. <laughs> I think that would happen at least once. Sorry, I have my phone balanced up against a laptop, so it's, like, really slippery. Um, so, yeah, I'm in the freshest category with Noah Cyrus, a band, the lady and then two other singers. And then the girl who sings Issues. <laughs> Sorry. You can vote off your Twitter account. It's real simple. There's a link. Did you hear that? Did, I hope you heard him. You can yeah. vote off your Twitter account. It's real simple. Off Grace's Twitter account. Oh, off of my Twitter chat account because I have a link. So it's going to be real easy. Um, do you think about acting too? I would love to act. Um, but like right now, I think I'm focusing on music, but like, I don't know if someone asked me to do a movie or something, I would probably say yes. Um, I would, yeah, if I were, of course, I wouldn't want to be like interested in the movie. I wouldn't just act, act. Um, so yeah. Oh my gosh. 
So Ro loves Kwa says, I miss your pink hair a lot. <sighs> Sometimes I do too, but I don't know. I want to grow my hair out a little bit before if I ever wanted to dye it another color again. What's your favorite TV show? Um, Hannah asks. Okay, so guys, um, I have lately, there is this um, Netflix TV show that I recommend so hard. You need to watch it. It's called The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Write it down right now. Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. You need to start watching it. It's the best show ever. And I usually don't, like, binge watch TV shows. But I've been watching, like, 20 episodes of this show every single day. And it's so funny. It's about, like, these women and they got abducted and but it's like a comedy like it sounds like a drama when i'm saying it but it's a really funny comedy and basically so they got put into like this cult and this guy they all thought the world was ending so they were like in this underground thing and they were under there for 15 years so then they fat got found and they got taken out and then there's kimmy and she was one of the mole women and basically it's like her like adjusting and she's like living in new york and like she doesn't know she's like a 13 year old and like a 29 year old body it's hilarious. You need to watch it. Okay, so as I was saying that, I saw a question that I wanted to answer. And it's probably not the exact words, but I just tried to remember it. I, I took a mental note as I was talking. Um, and it said, where do you get your dresses? They are so cute. Okay, so yes, of course. Thank you. Um, most of my, because I, I don't usually like shop at one store. I shop at like a bunch of stores. But most of my dresses come from like Forever 21 um, thrift shops. Sometimes you find really great things at thrift shops, so I can't, couldn't tell you. Um, so like Forever 21, there was this one store. Oh yeah, Syndrome. And, oh, and San Renz. I probably pronounced that wrong, but it's like S-A-N-R-E-N-S-E.com. And that has super good stuff. Um, and Ted Baker. Oh, I love Ted Baker. So yeah, those are like just a few things. And yeah, you'll, yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, question. Twitter and Facebook. All right. Somebody yeah, this is, Twitter, yeah. Yeah, because sometimes like it takes a while to load. So I'm just like sitting here. Is karma real? Yes, it is very <laughs> real. Um, what? What is you think about, I don't know what that says. <laughs> Comparison with oh! other singers like Sia. Yeah, says, I didn't want to ask that question. Yeah. Like that. Okay, what do you think about comparisons with great. other singers? It's great. It's awesome. Loving it. Yeah. Here's the okay. I know you like that one. Oh, what's your favorite top album? Macy. My favorite 21 Pilots. Yeah. Oh, Macy asked that with two exclamation points. My favorite top album or 21 Pilots album is absolutely Vessel. That was their, I, li I listen to that album all the time, every day. So yeah, your room is super cute. Thank you. It took a lot to get my room like this. I just, I, well, yeah, I, I clean it all the time, but like I had to do like a huge remodel to my room because my room was just like, I was never in my room. I hated my room, but now my room is like my safe spot. All but wants to know. Um, could you sing a piece of your favorite song? Light the sky. <laughs> That's my favorite song. Do you like any sports? I like basketball. Um, That's like really the only sport that I like. Um, yeah. Um, are you glad to be home from traveling? Yes. Oh, this is a I'm good so happy to be home. It feels so good to like actually sleep in my bed and stuff. Where's Frankie? He's downstairs chilling with the dogs. Oh! Oh my god, for a second I was like, why did you show me that? I don't know who that is. Oh my god, okay. So Ava asks, you should really collab with Colleen B123 and play your ukes. So when my mom just showed me that, I was like, why would you show me that? Because I don't know that band. What? Are you kidding me? Yay. Yeah, I would love to. I love Miranda Sings. Maybe pizza? That's the that's what I live by, Sean Jackson. That's what I live by. 
Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. There's like not a lot of questions. <laughs> I'm giving you tons of them. <laughs> any info? Uh, any info on the album coming up or coming out? Dang it! I'm sorry, guys. No, no, I can do it. I can do this. Um. It's going to be good. That's, like, the only info that I really want to give. Like, it's going to be really great. Um, and I'm just, I'm really excited for everyone to hear it. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, wait, on Facebook Live or that? Here. Oh, okay. ALBA asks, do you get nervous before going on stage? Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, hi, thank you. I would love to learn the guitar. What uh, kind of guitar would you recommend? Taylor is a really beautiful guitar. Um, how do you get so good at playing the guitar so fast? Um, I actually have a guitar teacher, and his name is Justin. So, yeah, he comes to the house, and, like, he helps me. So that definitely helps, like, speed up the process. What's your favorite holiday? Um, that's a really good question. Well, Easter's coming up. Easter's a great holiday. But I think my favorite holiday is either Thanksgiving or Christmas. I just need, I don't know if that's a good one. Okay. Well, there, wait, which one is it? That one? Yeah. Um, are you making an album? Because I can't, yes, I'm making an album. I am making a full album. Uh, <laughs> Will any of the will the album have any of the new so or any of the songs in the EP? I was just talking about that because I'm not sure. Cause like some people do that, some people like take at least like one song and put them on an album. So maybe I'll do that. I was thinking, well, I'm well, I was thinking one of the songs in the EP to put on the album. But once again, I'm gonna like make yeah, I'm gonna make. I'm trying to like just get a bunch of songs and then just choose from that and like make an album. Tell them about when you did the thing. I know. The oh yeah, I'm I'm releasing a single really soon, which is really cool. What's your favorite kind of cheese? Swiss is my favorite kind of cheese. Um, that's a good one. Whoa, that's such a good question. If you, oh wait, what's her name? That's. Uh, you clicked on that. You. It is. Ro loves gua asks <laughs> you, you guys with these usernames the crazy usernames asks if you had to wear one color forever what would it be and um i don't think it would be pink though i would just get sick of it oh okay whatever i guess it's pink but that, that's on my twitter but i think in real life um it might be Maybe like black, cause I feel like I wouldn't no, get wouldn't. I, I I wouldn't get sick of it. I would just wear it forever. Or jeans, jeans, jeans stuff. I would no wait. I would wear blue. I would no. I actually don't really like blue that much. It's a question you can't answer. Gray. She That's my gray answer. Control. It would be gray, cause I wear gray all the time. I love gray. Um. Which food do you dislike the most? That's a really good question, because I actually don't like a lot of food. Um, <laughs> that's true. Well, that's, like, not completely. Like, I'm not picky. Like, I eat a lot, but I don't like... Um, I can't even think of something that I don't like. Fruit. I love fruit. There are certain fruits I don't like, though. Yeah. She Wait. loves it. She just doesn't eat it very often. Right. No, yes, I do. She likes the fruit in a pop tart. Because we never have fruit. What? Yeah, Dad just went grocery shopping. <laughs> I think the fruit that I don't like would be unripe plums. Ew. I hate it when I bite into a plum and it's not or ripe. Peach. And then, like, I just am stuck with it. Like, I can't put it back. And then, like, I don't want to throw it out because I don't want to waste it. If you were an animal, what would you be? Um, hold on. I'll answer that in a sec. The top one, Evan. I don't want to answer that one. If I don't, if I just look away, that means I'm not going to answer it. I know, I've noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd be a goat. <laughs> Do you like dessert? Okay. One more question and then wrap it up. And then tell oh, me about okay. RDMA again. Okay. One more time. Okay, cool. Oh, geez.
Um, um, sorry, I have to scroll up now. Oh, uh, what's your favorite, or do you like dessert? I am totally a dessert person. Do you like Pop-Tarts? Yes, I like Pop-Tarts. I like the strawberry or blueberry ones. What's your favorite subject at school? History. Um, do you do homeschool now that you travel so much? Yes, I do homeschool now. Sorry, two speed questions. Any plans on releasing your LP on vinyl? That would be sick. I would love to, but it would be expensive. So I don't know. We have to see how well it does. <laughs> Just being honest here, guys. Um, thank you. Thank you. All of Oh, dogs or pizza? I can't choose. Both are my favorite. Um, Grace, do you like Fifth Harmony? I love Fifth Harmony. And I also lately have been obsessed with um, Little Mix. Because, yeah, I don't know. You're super hyper. Yeah, I don't know why. I just get really hyped up. What's your favorite food? Um, <laughs> my favorite food is Indian food. What's your favorite dessert? It depends on what mood I am in because, like, sometimes I like, like, like cute little pastry desserts, like macaroons, but sometimes I want, like, a hot fudge sundae. So, so you know, yeah. it varies. <laughs> favorite hairstyle? Well, um, I can't do too much with my hair, but lately... I either take a scrunchie and then do, like, that little 50s hairstyle where it's, like, a little thingy and then, like, everything else. Or, lately, I've been using these butterfly clips. Guys, buy these. They're the best. And you can do, like, these little pigtails with it. Sometimes I put it all on one side. It's just, like, I've been really using these every day. Favorite movie? She's going to wrap it up. Okay. Sorry. Okay, this is the last question. Okay, yes. My favorite movie is either, um, I feel like I just got, oh, Beauty and the Beast was amazing. I think that's my new favorite movie. Can you sing? Oh, all right. Bye. Can you speak French? Au revoir. Oh, right. One last time. Um, vote for, well, if you would like to, I would like you very much to vote for me for the RDMAs. I'm in the category The Freshest and... Yeah, even if I don't win, thanks, y'all, for voting. That's awesome. Do you like Ed Sheeran? I love Ed Sheeran. So, yes, bye. Thank you for watching.